Hello, everyone. This is Zhao Chunren from Shandong University. It's my pleasure to introduce our work about the joint personalized documentary ranking and next query prediction. So I would like to divide our talk into four parts. So first of all, I will introduce our background and the motivation. A search session refers to a short-term interval with multiple search interactions. Search sessions plays an important role for understanding users' information needs. During a search session, a user not only interacts with the ranked list of documents presented to them, results in clicks and skips, but also repeatedly revise a query so as to clarify their information needs. So there are two ta core tasks implied in the session search scenario. So one, on one hand, the search algorithm needs to re-rank documents, that is the documentary ranking task. And on the other hand, it needs to recommend a suitable query to the user which is a query prediction task. When concurrently performing these search activities, users are motivated by the same search intent. Moreover, the potential dependency between the user click behavior and the query reformulation deeply reflects the user implicit information needs. Accordingly, it is useful to jointly optimize these two tasks to better capture the underlying search intent embedded in this type of behavior. However, existing approaches to this joint optimization problem only consider a user's short-term search intent in an ongoing session. The user's long-term personalized preference as accepted during previous sessions are negated. As different users have different personalized characteristics, similar queries may express different search intent. Therefore, indiscriminately returning the same results to all users may limit the exactness of the search results. Personalization can alleviate this problem by monitoring users' profiles and provide more precise results for individual users. There are two kinds of personalized information buried in the long-term behavior, at least first similar past sessions, and second long-term search rules and intents that do not change frequently in the user's search history. For example, for an issued query, job hunting preparation in the current session result considering long-term information. The search results will be about preparation ways of general positions. However, given queries, Java running time environment and the click documents dynamic programming algorithm in previous sessions, it become evident that the user is looking for an algorithm engineer position. Therefore, the system should provide search results about a specific preparation experiments that match the user's skills. By inferring the long-term search goals over a period of time, a search engine can repeatedly improve the service quality. In this paper, we focus on the joint learning mechanism that users that use personalized profiling features from a user's short and long-term behavior. As shown in this figure, with the user who issues the multiple queries and who has interacted with the search engine during pre multiple previous sessions, by learning both short-term and long-term user profiling features, our goal is to infer a user's personalized search intent so as to simultaneously re-rank documents and predict the next query. Existing personalized retrieval approaches using long-term search logs focus on optimizing one task, which neglects another task. These approaches have several shortcomings. For example, it is, first, it, it is hard to capture long-term search intent. Secondly, a lack of fine-grained historical information reduces search reformation, uh, inform, uh, performance. Thirdly, low efficiency limits the potential applicability in real-world settings. In, this, in our work, we consider external memory networks. External memory networks contain the memory matrix to store the states separately in memory stores, which enable long-term prioritization and instant updates. Moreover, it is possible to devise complex and proper operations on these metrics to leverage previous information more effectively. In spite of this, we op operationalize our idea by employing the external memory networks to model a user's long-term profiling information with an external memory module. So based on this idea, next I will detail our proposed methods, namely LossNet. So in this paper, we propose a long short-term session search network, namely LossNet, to infer the personalized search intent for jointly optimizing documentary ranking and next query prediction. 
So there, here is the figure who, which provides an overview of our proposed model. There are three main steps in our proposed LossNet network. Step, at step A, we model session level search intent. At step B, we track long-term dynamic profile. And during step C, we consider personalized joint learning of document re-ranking and next query prediction. Along with the, the loss net, for step A, we propose a hierarchical session-based attention mechanism to infer session level search intent. Then for step B, we propose a multi-hop memory network to learn the user's long-term profile. Eventually for step C, we apply a multi-task learning strategy to jointly optimize document re-ranking and next query prediction. So at a step A, during the model session level search in, in, intention, tracking, our methods apply a hierarchical session-based attention mechanism with a recurrent network to learn the fine-grained session level intent representation. So the mechanism is composed of two hierarchical components, text representation and the session level intent representation. So the bottom internal in, in, inner attention layer detects the unbalanced the weight of each word in a test, and the upper inner attention layer focuses on, on session. At step B, uh, in this uh, ingredient, we propose a new personalized memory encoder, namely PME, to learn the user profile from the previous search sessions. PME is composed of two components, an uh, external memory module which, with key matrix slots that stores the latent states and a controller that performs read or write operations to this module. For write operation, we adopt the first in first out mechanism to update a memory matrix which stores a user's latest K sessions. For read operation, we design multi hop mechanism with soft attention to scrutinize previous sessions and highlight important parts dynamically according to previous important information need. And Step C, to balance the impact of the short-term search intent and long-term user profile, we use a fusion gating layer to infer the personalized search intent at each turn in the ongoing session. It will be used to achieve the personalized joint learning for documentary ranking and next query prediction. So for document ranker, we first concatenate the embedding of the current query with the representation of the personalized search intent through a long linear transformation. And then we apply a sigma model function to infer the click probability of candidate documents. Then the candidate documents are reordered according to their click probabilities. For query recommendation, we use attention-based RSTM decoding procedure to predict the words in the next query. For an issued query, our proposed model jointly learns to re-rank documents and predict next query. Therefore, the training objective of our proposed model consists of two terms. The first term is the binary cross entropy loss for the document re-ranking, and the second term is the negative log likelihood loss for the next query prediction. The final objective is the sum of above two terms over all queries. Okay, let's go to the experimental part. So our experiment is conducted on two benchmark data sets. So we employ uh, two data sets, the AOL search logs data sets and the SQL queue data sets. So the table shows the detailed statistics about our data sets in our experiments. For documentary ranking about the evaluation matrix, we use MAP, MR, and DCG as evaluation matrix. And for the next query prediction, we use the blue and the MR to evaluate the generative ability and the discriminative ability respectively by following previous studies. So about the performance on document re-ranking, this table lists the document re-ranking performance of all models. We see the loss net short refers to the loss net without the long-term search, search intent. And we observe that loss net significantly outperform all other baselines on is conducted on both data sets. Without modeling information about the past sessions, LossNet suffers a significant performance drop. This results confirm the positive effect of capturing the user's long-term search intent in enhancing documentary ranking. About the performance on the next query prediction, so we compare the performance of next query prediction models on two data sets. We observe that LossNet outperform all other baselines with significant margins in terms of both blue and MR. 
So this verifies the advantage of our proposed method in the, the personalized search intent representation. In addition, we see the loss net improves the loss net short in most of, of in terms of most of evaluation metrics, which indicates the modeling long-term search interactions helps NAS query prediction. We also analyze the influence of the number of hopes and the memory size. This figure shows our results on AOL datasets for documentary ranking and net query prediction respectively. We can observe that loss net with more hopes achieves better performance, which indicates the effectiveness about our multi-hope mechanism during the dynamic profile learning. Moreover, the performance of loss net in increases with the growth of memory size. This is because more historical session information is used for predicting the next, query, next clicks and the query. Eventually, with the increase of the memory size, the performance, of, uh, the performance gain of loss net gradually decreases in both tasks. Therefore, it is reasonable to adopt a first-in, first-out mechanism to maintain the latest K sessions in user memory metrics, as a more recent session should contribute more than an older one in the ongoing session. Therefore, we conclude that our proposed PME is able to effectively explore evidence from historical session search and yield better personalization. We also analyze the effect of the joint learning. The results on these two datasets are summarized in this table. So with, without a next query prediction, we find a significant decrease of, uh, in re-ranking performance, which indicates the utility of supervision signals from the query recommender to the re ranker. Then when the document ranker is disabled, the prediction performance of LossNet also received a consistent drop on the AOL datasets. So by leveraging the training signals of two objectives, our joint learning framework learns more effectively shared representations, which is suitable for two related tasks. Therefore, we conclude that the joint learning of these two tasks of our proposed personalized approach mutually benefit from each other. So in the end, I will give our conclusion and uh, outlook. In this paper, we consider the task of personalized joint learning of document re-ranking and next query prediction. We propose a personalized session search, a personalized session search model, LossNet, that uses a long short-term search, search behavior to jointly re-rank documents and predict next query. Specifically, we devise a multi-hop memory network to learn the user long-term profile. We also introduce a hierarchical session-based attention mechanism in, to model fine-grained session level intent. In our experiments conducted on two benchmark datasets, we demonstrated the effectiveness of our proposed methods. And we also find the significant improvements of our proposed method over state-of-art baselines. So about our future work, we plan to apply other user sessions to enhance the current session search. Also, our solution can be transferred to broader domains around the sequential interaction between the user and the system. It would be interesting study in an online manner, of course. And lastly, it would, we would also would like to integrate the external knowledge to improve the performance of LossNet. So this is all, and thank you for attention, and uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you.